Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer. I'm Reverend Angela Peverell. It's Thursday the 31st of March and today I am recording our prayers on Walla Medical land and I pay my respect to the Walla Medical elders past, present and emerging. Let us pray. This is the message we have found from Christ, that God is light in whom there is no darkness at all. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Our opening canticle is a song of God's herald. Go up to a high mountain, herald of good tidings to Zion. Lift up your voice with strength, herald of good tidings to Jerusalem. Lift up your voice, fear not. Say to the cities of Judah, behold your God. See the Lord God coming with power, coming to rule with his mighty arm. He brings his reward for the people of God, the recompense for those who are saved. God will feed his flock like a shepherd and gather the lambs in his arms. He will hold them in his breast and gently lead those who are young. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm this morning is a portion of Psalm 106, beginning at the 20th verse. At Horeb they made themselves a cup and bowed down in worship to an image. And so they exchanged for the glory of God the likeness of an ox that eats hay. They forgot God who was their saviour, that had done such great things in Egypt, who had worked his wonders in the land of Ham and his terrible deeds at the Red Sea. Therefore he thought to destroy them, had not Moses his servant stood before them in the breach to turn away his wrath from destroying them. Almighty God, who so wonderfully created us in your own image, and yet more wonderfully restored us in your Son, Jesus Christ, grant that as he came to share our human likeness, so may we be partakers in his divine glory, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our reading this morning comes from the fifth chapter of John's Gospel, commencing at the 31st verse. If I testify about myself, my testimony is not true. There is another who testifies on my behalf, and I know that his testimony to me is true. You sent messages to John, and he testified to the truth. Not that I accept such human testimony, but I say these things so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and you were willing to rejoice for a while in his light. But I have a testimony greater than John's, the works that the Father has given me to complete, the very works that I am doing, testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. And the Father who sent me has himself testified on my behalf. You have never heard his voice or seen his form, and you do not have his word abiding you in you, because you do not believe in him who he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think that in them you will have eternal life, and it is they that testify on my behalf. Yet you refuse to come to me to have life. I do not accept glory from human beings, but I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I have come in my Father's name, and you do not accept me. If another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept glory from one another and do not seek the glory that comes from the one alone who is God? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. 
Your accuser is Moses, on whom you have set your hope. If you believed Moses, you would believe in me, for he wrote about me. But if you do not believe what he wrote, how will you believe what I say? May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. The morning canticle is the hymn of the word. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. All things were made through him and without him was not anything that was made, made. In him was life and the life was the light of all people, the light that shines in the darkness and the darkness cannot overcome it. He was in the world and the world was made through him, yet the world knew him not. He came to his own home and his own people received him not. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he has given power to become children of God. Who were not born of blood, nor the will of the flesh, nor the will of a man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. We have beheld his glory, glory of the only Son from the Father. And from his fullness have we all received, and grace upon grace. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Our collect for the fourth Sunday in Lent. Gracious Father, whose blessed Son, Jesus Christ, came down from heaven to be the true bread which gives life to the world, Evermore give us this bread, that he may live in us and we in him, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Today we say our prayers, praying for peace. Lord God, in peace we make our prayer to you. Trusting in you, we confirm our faith in you. Help us to set our faces steadfastly to where you would have us go. Fill us with your spirit and remind us that we are a new creation in Christ. And listening to the promptings of the spirit, may we be renewed in holiness that we may reflect your glory. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we pray that you will continue to look with favour on your church. We pray for your blessings on our bishops, for our bishops of the Newcastle Diocese, Peter and Sonia and Charlie. And we pray for all who preach and teach your message of salvation, both in our diocese and throughout the Anglican Communion and the world. Guide us through our spiritual and our worldly journeys. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we earnestly pray that you will look with favour on the nations of our world, particularly those that are scarred by hatred, violence, strife and war. We pray especially for an end to the war in the Ukraine. We pray that your spirit will guide the leaders of our nations and drive away division, despair, and all that brings hate and hurt through our politics and through our differences. Establish your just and gentle rule in those places where there is conflict that those who are in authority must, may act with just 
and justice and integrity according to your will. We pray especially for our Prime Minister, Scott, for our Premier, Dominic, and for our local representatives and our local governments. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, look with favour on those who are in any need or distress for those who suffer. We pray for those who are homeless, for those who are refugees, for those who are expelled or forgotten people anywhere and everywhere. We pray for those whose lives have been so adversely affected by the rains and the floods and we ask that in any ways that we can, that you will help us to use our gifts and talents to the greater good of those who are in need and especially those who are in need at this time. Drive away our complacency and our apathy when we know in our hearts that we can do more to sustain those who are in need. We pray especially for those who have asked for our prayers and we ask Lord God that you will mend broken relationships heal bodies that suffer chronic pain or illness and strengthen and deliver all those who are troubled. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we pray for the immortal souls of those who have died recently, that they may share with your saints in glory the joy of heaven where there is neither sorrow nor pain, but life everlasting. We pray for the souls of those whose anniversary of death occurs at about this time. Rest eternal grant to them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. Lord God, we lift these and all our prayers to you in confidence and faith. Through Jesus Christ our Saviour, to him be praise, dominion and worship now and for ever. Amen. Lord and Heavenly Father, you have brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power, protect us from sin, and in all we do this day, direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of peace equip us with everything good so that we may do his will. And may he work in us that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever. Amen. <laughs>